Hey everyone, and welcome to Wasteland 3 Beta. So, I had two videos of the Wasteland 3 Alpha on the channel, but that was literally just one single mission. And this is Wasteland 3 Beta, which came out just a few days ago. And I'm not quite sure what the scope of the beta is, but I'm definitely looking forward to checking it out. So, let's dive right in, shall we? As you can see, I haven't played the beta at all yet, there's no continue option, because I haven't done anything with it yet. Let's see, select the difficulty. Friendly fire on, okay, I like that. Let's go with Ranger. What could possibly go wrong, right? It's been a rough few years for the Desert Rangers. When the world ended, they tried to bring some order to what was left of Arizona. But then, the Cochise AI woke up, and they found themselves in a fight to the death with its robot army. In the end, they had to nuke their own base to kill the damn thing for good. Been hard going ever since. Then, the Rangers heard from a fella calling himself the Patriarch. Said he owned Colorado, but his kids were trying to steal it from him. And if the Rangers were to come and put him in their place, he'd give Arizona all the food and supplies it needed to rebuild and survive. I'm sure nothing bad can possibly happen here. Yep, there it is. That was predictable. Yeah. It's been a rough road lately. But that's the thing about the Rangers. It doesn't matter how hard it gets, or how many of them fall. They keep on fighting. The Rangers never stop fighting. Okay, so... What do we have here? We can create a custom pair of characters, or we can select a pre-made one. Trooper, combat medic... Enforcer, Mechanic, Commander, Sniper, Survivalist, Mother, Trader, Inventor. There are quite a few here. Maybe you should go with this one. Let's see. Automatic Weapons, Weapon Modding, Hardass. Background, Warmonger. Plus 5% ranged damage bonus. Okay, so let's check out character customization. What can we do here? Identification. We can change the voice. We can change the name, obviously. We can change the background. There are quite a few in here. And each one has a different bonus. Bonus damage to humans. Crit resistance. 
evasion, experience bonus. I don't like experience bonuses. I think I might go with that. Yeah, sure. Let's go with experience bonus. Next up, we got appearance. I think I'm fine with this. We can also randomize. Okay, <laughs> that's some pretty funny customization there. Alright then. I mean, this is fine. <laughs> okay, this is actually fine. Starting weapon. Let's see. Assault rifle, submachine gun, semi-auto, pump shotgun, sniper rifle, bladed weapon, blunt weapon, brawling weapon, heavy weapon. I think I'll just go with good old-fashioned assault rifle. Sure. Then we got attributes. So coordination, luck, awareness, strength, speed, intelligence and charisma. We definitely want some awareness because that will increase our hit chance and ranged damage bonus. So let's go with some of that. Let's say 5 points total. Coordination. Luck. Strength. Speed, intelligence and charisma. Well, charisma will give us some more experience. What about strength? Throwing range. We don't quite need melee damage bonus on this guy. Combat speed, evasion, initiative. Let's get at least one more point in here. Maybe more points in coordination. If we get four points in coordination, we'll get additional action point. Sounds good to me. And that's one more point left. What should that be? Intelligence? Charisma? Let's go with intelligence. Okay, sure. Works for me. Also, more intelligence means more skill points. So that's probably good. And then we got skills. Let's see, we got four points to spend. That is quite a few skills. Well, I guess we want at least one in automatic weapons, for sure. Maybe like one in big guns. What else? Succeed at hard us and kiss us skill checks. Well, this guy sounds like a bit of a hard us, so let's go with that. <laughs> one point. And then we definitely want some exploration skills. I guess that's kind of obvious. Lockpicking. Mechanics. You can repair vehicles, generators and other machines more effectively. Survival. Toaster repair. Weapon modding. Let's go with weapon modding. And maybe lockpicking. So weapon modding, lockpicking, automatic weapons and hardass for this guy. And then we got quirks. Let's see. Okay, there's going to be both a positive and a negative here. We can also go with nothing. Cannot be revived during combat, but plus 5 constitution per level. Interesting. Yeah, some of these negatives are really bad, but the positives are also pretty damn good. Serial killer. Minus 1 action point, but gain plus 3 AP for each kill in combat. Once per attack. Okay. Experience bonus, minus 15%, but a lot of resistance bonuses. We could actually go with this, because I already have an experience bonus. So this will kind of negate it, but we'll get some really nice resistances. Yeah, let's actually go with that, I like that. Because we had Bookworm, which was plus 10% experience bonus. And then we get some experience bonus from attributes. From charisma, plus 5. So that's plus 15%. And we'll get minus 15% from this. So we are basically getting all these extra resistances. Works for me. 
Now, let's check Hog. We can change the name, I suppose. Not that it matters too much. Let's see. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Breaker is fine. Background. What's this background? Plus one perception. Fire damage bonus, explosive damage bonus. Melee damage bonus. We could go with melee, but I think I'll still go with ranged. Crit resistance. Status effect resistance, plus 10%. Let's actually keep perception. I think that's fine. Here comes the pe this is not the best way to begin an engagement. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's good. Okay, next up. Let's see. I'm not changing appearance. This is fine. Let's see. Starting weapon. So what the heck do you want then? Let's maybe go with shotgun. Shotgun to the face always works. Okay, attributes. Let's take a look. I would say at least one more in awareness, possibly two more, you know, to get ranged damage bonus. And this will also increase perception. One more in charisma. Maybe two more in intelligence. And coordination. Yep. Four more action points. Here. Then we got skills. So, something we don't have. Like, first aid. Yeah, okay, let's get first aid. We are definitely going to need that at some point. Maybe barter. Plus 50% cell value. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Nerd stuff. I suppose we'll need that at some point as well. And then, let's see, which one of these would work with a shotgun? I mean, a shotgun is not exactly an automatic weapon. Big guns, heavy machine guns, flamethrowers and other oversized weapons. I mean, there's sort of a shotgun on this picture, but I don't know, to be honest. Oh, there we go, shotguns. Okay, two more points. Let's go for some exploration skills. Weird science. Yeah, okay. Let's go with that. Although... No, that doesn't sound that useful. Leadership. Nearby allies gain plus one percent hit chance. Okay, let's go with leadership. And we got one more point left. Mechanics, survival. Avoid world map encounters, difficulty one or less. Okay, let's go with survival. And that's going to be it. So that's character creation. Hey, hold on, quirks? No quirk. I think I'll pass on this. Unless there's something that would really work with what we already picked. Some of these negatives are brutal. Gained plus 50% damage while drunk. Minus two maximum action points. Oh, that's kind of hilarious. But I'm not taking that. Cannot be revived during combat. No. Leadership has no benefits on you, but plus 20% initiative. Cannot read skill box. Cannot wear armor of any kind, but plus three action points. Okay, so a lot of these quirks basically changed the playstyle of the character. Like, entirely. Plus 6 armor, but minus 0 0.4 combat skill. I'm going to pass. This one is kind of tempting, but minus 1 action point? I don't know, that seemed really bad. Yeah, I'm going to pass on quirks. This is it. Let's go. Okay, here we are. 
Looking forward to this. We're right in the middle of the action. And we're not doing too well. I didn't even get a chance to do anything yet. Can we shoot something yet? Thanks. Okay, so let's see. Let's make use of the shotgun, shall we? So... 60%, 97% on this guy if we move up. And we will have some cover. There's a tutorial. Left click an enemy within your weapons range to attack them. Enemies within your attack range will show your chance to hit above your head. Yeah, I figured as much. So let's maybe hit this guy right here. We'll move up. And then we can shoot him. Not quite enough to kill him. 80%. Okay, let's go with that. That's not quite enough for a kill, still. Not enough AP for more. Well, alright then. Spend the rest of this ranger's action points to gain a bonus of your choice. Defend, ambush, prepare. Okay, so we can defend. We can prepare. End your turn and carry over up to two unused APs to your next turn. Oh, I like that a lot. Let's use that. That is a great alternative to Overwatch. What the heck is that thing supposed to be? It's not friendly. Nope, definitely not. I don't think we are supposed to win this fight, but I don't know. We'll see. Down we go, one by one. Yep. Sounds about right. There's the problem. Hang in yes, I noticed the problem. So... Combat movement. During combat, your rangers may need to take cover or change attack positions through action points. Blue spaces are areas a ranger can move to with enough AP left for an attack. Yeah, I figure as much. That's the same as XCOM, basically. Orange spaces are areas within their maximum movement range. The red target preview lines determine if their new positions place them within targeting range. Okay. So, let's see. Let's finish off at least one guy. Here. And then we could go with Overwatch. Action points. Action points allow you to move, attack and reload your weapons during combat. Each weapon costs a certain amount of AP to fire. You have enough left to fire your weapon again. Right, well I could try to kill this fella, but that will not actually do enough damage. Or at least it might not. It's not guaranteed to do enough damage. As for Breaker... Should probably back up a bit. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, let's actually back up. And maybe Overwatch? Or rather Ambush. Let's go with that. And I could still Ambush with Reaper. I can't actually kill anyone, unless I want to try killing this fella. Okay, there, that worked. And we can still defend or prepare. Let's actually defend, because there aren't that many more friendlies to take damage instead of us. I assume something is going to happen here. Maybe the tank will fire on them. Or whatever this is. One hundred and seventy-five health. Yeah, okay. There we go. Now we can use the tank. I think so. Vehicle turret online. Nice. Okay. Let's do that. Oh, that's going to be a lot of damage. That's what I like to see. Nice. Let's even the odds a little bit. 
So I can shoot this guy with a shotgun, but that will not actually kill him. I can't really flank anyone. Or rather, I kind of can, but then they will also flank me. Let's just shoot him from where we're standing. There. That's good enough. And then we could ambush. Okay, ambush. And maybe just shoot that guy in the face. Or ambush again. There we go. We got some damage. That should make it easier to finish the job. I just need to move to get a better chance to hit. Out of ammunition. Hold on, where's the reload? Right here. That uses two action points. Well... Not much I can do here. Let's just ambush again. And we can take a shot with the tank. Oh, that's actually guaranteed to hit. That was easy enough. Over here, you two. But Get I mean, that was basically like the tutorial. We live through this. We gotta take out the bastards with the rocket launcher up on the dam. We'll each find our own way up there and catch him front and back. Got find it. a way to the top of the dam, all right? Good. And remember, Arizona's depending on us. There's no giving up here. There's no. All right, move out. Okay, move out then. First, we can actually get some loot. Let's maybe do that. Cigarette bud. Two dollars, all right. I mean, let's just take everything. Mostly junk so far. Okay, yep, that's all junk, but looks like we can sell it at some point somewhere. No bullets, no problem. Yeah, yeah, I figured as much. Right click on where you'd like to go. Just take all of that. Group versus individual selection, yep, also figured as much. Healing after combat. Your rangers are injured, you'd best heal them quick. Your rangers are armed with a med hypo, they can use to heal themselves. Select the injured ranger and access your items through your action bar. Right, they don't like heal automatically or anything like that. You actually have to heal them yourself. Here. I guess that works. So, let's move on. Anything else we can loot in here? Nope, doesn't look like it. We got everything. So where do we go now? In which direction? This way? Yep. More corpses. Can we actually control that tank? Nope. Okay, fine. There's actually some blood on the corpse. Or not. Okay, never mind. They were shot at point blank range. Oh, hi. What the heck is he doing? Well, I don't know, but now he's going to die. Don't give him a chance to shoot us. Easy enough. And he had some loot. Colorado dollars. Okay. So this way. Yep, another guy over there. Not anymore. <laughs> he had a bad day. Not much left of him. Not even junk. This ranger was beaten to death, okay. Yeah, this is a lot of corpses. Someone sliced open this ranger's abdomen and removed his intestines. Judging by the expression that is frozen on his dead face, he was alive when it happened. That sounds very unpleasant. 
dumb overlook. Looks like we are going this way. How should I know? Maybe you blew her up already. Liar! I want her head! It's gonna be me who bring it to Jarrett! Where is she? I don't know. I don't know! You're hiding her from me! You're denying me my quote. Someone we can save, Get maybe? fucking gun off of me! I don't know! <sighs> Stupid Kale! You're wasting my time! Okay. I think we can save her. It seems like it. Yes, we are. Okay, Hotly. Well, she's not dead yet. She die. Got it? Who are you people and why are you attacking us? Hard as one. The only way you don't die is if you run. So get lost while you still can. Okay, okay. Fuck you. Hey, <laughs> that actually worked. All right then. Yeah, you go do that. Thanks. Saved my life. You're welcome. You probably should have killed that gal, though. It's Gotta fine. More targets for us. Friends. And I appreciate it. Just watch yourself. They're right How about outside. you join us? Let me take a look at your wounds. Thanks. You guys are lifesavers. Yes, we know that already. Any other survivors from your squad? Not likely. Most of them burn. Well then, you can join our squad. Major Tom, he might have made it. Saw him take off like a. Don't know if he'll. Okay. Come with you if you find him. He gets pretty spooked. What's but... Major Tom? <laughs> Major's just his nickname. You can just call him Tom when you find him. Okay. Well, Gotta let's get you moving. My wind first, Flemmy. Stay here and guard your rear while you take care of the ones around the corner. Be careful. Okay. Let's check out the lot. Something that's actually useful might be nice. I'm just saying. Can you like highlight all the objects that can be interacted with? Yes. With shift. Okay, that works. Ammo box. Let's grab everything. A lot of this is junk, but here's a med hypo. Cassette tape discovered. I think that's everything. Yep. That is actually everything. Alright, we are going this way. That's a bigger group. These are the guys we can rescue from the looks of it. Hey! Okay, well, that didn't go very well. Well then. I wonder if the alternative was letting her die, but rescuing these people? Well, I don't know. Let's see. We will have some high ground. Alright, let's just shoot this fella right here. That didn't quite work. 65%. There it is. Not quite enough for a kill, but we got some damage. I'll take it. Taking cover. Yes, I know how cover works. And flanking. So, let's see. I would like to finish off this guy first, if possible. 37%. I can get 61. But I also do not want to get flanked myself. I would prefer to keep cover. We can also get 100 on that guy on the low ground. But I really don't want to keep this hunter alive. If I don't have to. Right now, my chance to hit him is kind of low. 45%. There we go. Okay, that worked. Now we can hit that guy on the low ground. That's 100%. I can also blow up the oil tank. I'm not sure how much damage that will do. 
Okay. I'll take it. Out of ammunition. But let's prepare. That will save one action point. This might get rough. There are quite a few of them. I'm not totally sure how this will go. We need some good damage. Yeah, there are four enemies here. I'm not totally sure how this will go. 40 health on this one. That is a lot of health. I don't know about this. Can we even kill him or her? Probably not on this turn. I don't think so. I actually can't. This might get nasty. Come on. Yep. Well then. Defend. That's all I can do right now. Will anyone help us? Doesn't look like it. Downed rangers. One of your rangers has been downed. Rangers are downed when they reach zero constitution. They will stay downed for several turns before becoming fully incapacitated. If another ranger can reach them before that happens, they can spend some of their action points to revive them. When a ranger is revived, they'll suffer a lasting injury that can only be removed by using an injury kit or getting treatment from a doctor. Each injury your downed rangers suffer will reduce the time you have to revive them. I'm not actually sure if I can win this fight. This 40 health guy was a little bit too tough. And now it's just me left. I don't know about this. I kind of have to revive here. Just don't get killed right away, that would be great. She can't even move anymore. Yeah, she might actually get killed right away. After this. <laughs> Seems like a real possibility. Okay, reload. And that's basically it. Yeah, I don't think reviving her there was actually a very good idea. Because she will just die again right away. Yep, no, that was not a good idea at all. But I only got two turns to do that. I actually can't beat these guys right now. That one 40 health guy. That was a little bit too much. Yep, I actually can't beat them right now. Well, unless they miss me terribly, which apparently they just did. So, I need to heal myself, obviously. Maybe I can still do this, but I'm not totally convinced. I do have a little bit of high ground now. But the breaker is gone. These two are much easier to kill. It was just that one enemy with 40 health. There. So... Well, she's dead. So is she like permanently dead or what? No, just incapacitated. At least that's what it says, but the skull would suggest she's dead. The tooltip says incapacitated. So I'm not totally sure what's up with that. Well, let's go to the long ground, see what's going on here. Some loot. A lot of corpses, generally speaking. Yeah, I don't think I can actually bring her back. I have no idea right now. But the tooltip clearly says incapacitated, not dead. So... I actually have no clue what's going on with that. Can you, like, reload a save? There's quick load. But even if I quick load, I don't know if I can do this fight. That one 40 health enemy was really rough. So what, do I just play with one character now? 
<laughs> I have no clue. The game doesn't seem to tell you. What the heck do we do now? There doesn't seem to be much over here. We can still go in this direction. Well, I guess I just have to play with one character now. I actually don't know. Medical crate. Medic pack. Okay, maybe that's what we need. Let's take a look again. Come on. Get your ass over here. Get up. Okay, I seriously don't know anymore. If she's dead, it should just say dead on the tooltip, not incapacitated. Because that's not entirely clear. A little bit weird if you can just permanently lose characters. But that seems to be the case, unless she magically comes back when we zone out. Some more loot. Enemy detection. A big ass robot ahead. Right. Okay then. How the heck do I disable this? I don't have enough mechanic skill. I guess I need to wait for it to move out of the way. And sneak past. There we go. Hidden objects and perception. Let's use the generator real quick. I can't quite disarm that. Well, I don't want to blow myself up, but I cannot disarm that. Let's take the armor crate. A little bit of armor, that will come in handy for sure. I might have to restart all of this if I end up having to play with one character. Upgrading your gear. Let's equip your new gear. Right. What do we have here? The armor? It didn't have any. And that's pretty much it. I don't really have anything else other than junk. No, we are not going in that direction. Thank you very much. There's no way I can beat any bigger group of enemies with one person. Plus 3% critical chance. Yep. I equip that right away. Where the heck do we go from here? This way. More ammunition. On the other side of the door, you can hear rough voices and laughter and rocket fire. I mean, there's nowhere else I can go, so I suppose we'll open it. If there's any bigger group of enemies here, then oh, I'm basically damn. screwed. Looks like we killed them all. It's the fun because talk. I don't think I can kill them with one single character. Oh, we need a Wait a minute, maybe not. No. <laughs> As much fun as it is killing folk long distance. The rest is gonna be sorry he stayed home. He loves him some entrails. What the hell are you people? Why the fuck did you attack us? Because it was ordained. The Darcy's are the harbingers of the deluge. The motherfucking end of the old world. And it all begins okay. here, you little prayer dog. What I do. No one's coming to say Sounds like oh well <laughs> That was pretty funny. Oh, well someone actually help us. Jared. I mean this is supposed to be just the start of the game. Up. Heads up, Rangers. More Wipe out all of the dorses on the dam. Okay. Well this will be fun. 
47 health, 47 health, yeah, there's no friggin' way I can kill them on my own. There's one guy over here, Major Vera. But still, this is a lot of health. I can't do that much damage this quickly. Let's get started. I can maybe blow them up with the oil tanks. But the last time I did that, it didn't do that much damage. Okay, that's way better. Only killed one, but I suppose I'll take it. Maybe we can actually do this. More incoming! Well, that other ranger better be able to kill the majority of this group, basically. Yeah, you go do that. Here, one down. We are about to get flanked, though. And there isn't a whole lot of cover I can move back into. I'm just saying. 18% chance to hit. Yeah, that's kind of bad. I can't really move anywhere useful right now. He will obviously be able to flank me. Let's defend. Yep. I mean, he was able to flank me no matter what. Come on, help me out here! Okay, 81%, much better. One more time. Then I'll be out of ammunition. That wasn't nearly as much damage as I was hoping. My damage seems kind of crap in general. But I mean, these are like level 1 characters. Okay, let's move into cover. I need to reload anyway. Don't die on me. Yeah, I don't know about this. Maybe we should run towards Major Vera. That sounds like a good idea to me. Your strike meter is full. Each weapon type has a unique strike, a powerful special attack that can turn the tide of the battle. Your weapon has the precision strike. I don't really want to use it from here, I just want to, like, run into safety. Let's maybe do that. We'll run towards Major Vera. Don't kill me, thank you. There are still three of them. Four of them. Do they just keep coming from that direction? I don't know. I'm still not totally convinced I can actually win here. There are just too many of them and I don't do nearly enough damage. Would have been helpful to have one more character, you know? I think I might be screwed. Although he somehow missed me. From melee range. Yeah, my damage is just really crap. And they have so much health here. Yep, there we go. So, <laughs> return to the main menu. That didn't go very well. I suppose I'll have to restart then. However, I'm still going to include this. So, it's going to be the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Or a dislike if you didn't. And let me know if you would like to see more. I will probably do more. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.